Hi, everyone, and welcome to a special episode of JSA TV with Stream Data Centers, where we will explore how to deliver a great data center experience at the intersection of valuable partnerships and mission critical service. I'm Barb Mitchell of JSA, and joining me today is the Managing Director Dynamic Duo at Stream Realty Partners, Mike Armstrong and Michael Wong. Sometimes also referred to, sometimes known as Wong and Strong. Together, these two gentlemen deliver more than 35 years of real estate investment experience, helping Stream to scale seamlessly and deliver expanded value on behalf of its data center customers. Thank you both so much for joining us. Thank you, Mark, for having us. So I thought that, you know, you, you both deserve a little bit more of an introduction than that. So, so just before we get into the questions, I, I just want to, you know, give everyone a little bit more of a background on you. So, of course, Mike Armstrong and Michael Wong joined Stream Realty Partners, uh, which is the parent company of Stream Data Centers, last September. Both have deep experience in real estate acquisition and new business development across multiple property types. The two first worked together as co-heads of acquisition for GI Partners Technology Real Estate Platform, which they were intimately involved in growing from inception to an 8 million square foot portfolio of data center, life science, and technology office assets across the United States. What a pleasure it is to have you here uh, with us today. Uh, and, and, you know, a big move for you both, I think. Uh, you know, I'd be really interested, I think our viewers would be interested to hear you know, with, with your backgrounds and your, you know, amazing reputations across the industry, what led you to join Stream last year? Mike, do you want to start first? Yeah, absolutely. And uh, it's, a, it's a simple answer uh, is the people. Uh, as we all know, real estate, uh, you know, data centers, it's a very relationship uh, forward uh, business. Uh, uh, and over the years, uh, we had you know, got to know the folks here, both on the Stream Realty Partners side and on the Stream Data Center side uh, quite well, you know, out and about at conferences and industry events, and then more intimately you know, looking at deals or working on deals together. And it just became apparent that uh, uh, Stream was a different type of place. Uh, everyone uh, cared about each other. Uh, it was almost palpable when you were with them, the energy that uh, the team exuded, uh, and uh, Frank just wanted to be a part of that, and uh, uh, glad to report inside the, the firm, uh, just as good as it looked from the outside. Right, I, I thought it was a pretty easy decision as well. I mean, the, the folks here are just so passionate about what they do, and talented in terms of product expertise and market expertise, and, and you really get a sense of that when you talk to anyone ranging from, you know, a critical engineering person at the firm on the data center side, to the head of the firm, to the various offices or heads of offices on the office and industrial side. They're all willing to support what, what you're trying to do within Stream, happy to share what they're working on and just great people to get to know. Yeah, you know what, I've, I've heard that so consistently about Stream, about the team and, and the people. It's nice to hear uh, that that's going strong. Um, and so, it's been over six months now for you both. You're, you're sort of into the second half of your of your first year uh, with Stream. How's it been so far? Any any key highlights for us, Mike, that you wanted to share? Yeah, you know, um, consistent with the rest of the world, uh, it's been a just a, a obviously a very extraordinary year with the pandemic overlay and uh, you know Stream. You know, uh, long strong here. We're no we're no different. Uh, starting at a new company. Uh, you know, in the middle of a pandemic can certainly present challenges, but uh, so far so good. It's been great. Uh, everyone's been very supportive, as, as Michael mentioned, um, just allowing, uh, you know, us to really seamlessly integrate from afar uh, to start. And, and now that things are starting to open up, we're really excited and optimistic of, you know, what's to come. I love my current office mates, my family and my two dogs and my kids. <laughs> get -go, but I, I can't wait to trade them in to be able to go out and see properties and, and meet with folks again. And, and this has been a, a good step for us to, to getting back on that track. So really looking forward to that. Yeah, isn't that, the, isn't that true, right? I think we're all looking forward to a little normalcy uh, returning for everyone in, in, uh, later, you know, in 2021. Um, Mike, can you tell us about your role within Stream Realty Partners and how exactly that ties into Stream data centers? 
Yeah, uh, absolutely. So Michael and I sit uh, inside of the SRP uh, investment team. Uh, and SRP, is, as you mentioned, is the parent company to stream data centers. But really, in a, in a practical sense, we say at the intersection of data centers and investments. And so what that means practically is, uh, you know, helping you know, further you know, converge and kind of level up both of those businesses uh, as we, you know, we help to scale and grow in, in, in service of our clients. And so sourcing data center opportunities, um, you know, hopefully building some differentiated products in that space. Uh, and then, you know, fast forward, I'm sure we'll be doing something completely different in uh, you know, five or 10 years inside the organization. I like that term level up. <laughs> yeah. It's not very <laughs> Uh, and so considering, you know, the experience you both bring um, to stream from, from your pasts, um, how is that, what do you think is the benefit that that will bring uh, to the customers and investors at, at stream? Michael? Great question. You know, the, the data center investment arena has changed quite dramatically since we've been involved with it. And, and you know, we've only been involved with it for half the period that the stream data centers team has uh, been involved with that uh, segment of the market. So it, it's been uh, pretty dynamic and we're seeing a lot of new capital coming into the space. And so the, the ability to uh, interact with those types of investors uh, relate what we're seeing on the data center side to other types of properties that they may be, may be more familiar with such as office and industrial. And then also to display both um, the expertise here internally at stream, but not just from a market perspective, from a, from a operational, you know, facility management, development, leasing, marketing, um, you know, wholly integrated package, I think has been uh, really useful for us as we get back out there and, and start talking to users and potential sellers and potential investors. And, and Mike, how do you feel, how do you think this extends out? I mean, you know, building off of what Michael was saying there to the industry as a whole uh, and the future of stream you know, again, no pressure putting on, on the two of you to evolve the entire industry, but, but what do you, what do you think? What do you, what do you see there? Yeah. You know, we, we obviously uh, don't have a crystal ball and if we do, it's probably not a very good one, but we think that over time, uh, our ability to help our clients, help our partners, and we use partners as a very inclusive term here. Partners could be investors, partners can be our tenants in many cases, um, but we want to help them grow their business and, uh, by doing that, grow grow our business. Uh, and so as you know, we, we look down the road, year five and year 10, um, where I think this is going is we're gonna build uh, a franchise that people can think of really just as a solution uh, where a user can come to stream and whether that is they have a very specific need, maybe they need office space or they need an industrial solution or they need a data center, uh, you know, we want to think of ourselves as a, you know, a one-stop shop, not to use a, a often overplayed term, but just to be helpful uh, where our customers and clients come to us for advice and, uh, and partnership. That's a good point. I think some users or tenants, they just want a landlord. They, they don't want you in their business at all. And other, other tenants or users, they, they want a partner. They need someone that can help them manage the infrastructure. And, and here at Stream, we're able to do all of that. We can serve as more of a real estate partner. We can serve as more of an operational data center partner and everything in between. So, so it's a very exciting platform for us to be a part of. And, and Mike, I know you said, I think I heard you say you don't have a crystal ball, but if you, if you did, if either of you did, um, where, what's the next five years look like? You know, if we're sitting here talking five years from now, what, what do you think we're talking about? Uh, yes. Oh my goodness. Um, you know, I think in, in concrete terms, I think we will uh, have an expanded footprint. Um, you know, Michael and I live in, in Northern California, and so I, I would expect us to have uh, more offices in California on the West Coast. Basically, wherever our clients are and need help, uh, I could see an expanded office footprint across the company. Um, you know, more differentiated investment solutions. That's uh, office industrial data centers, and maybe some other uh, product types as well. Uh, and just, you know, a growing vibrant business. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if Michael and I have, uh, are doing something bigger or different inside the organization as we can help it grow. Mm -hmm. Stronger. Strong, stronger. 
<laughs> one of the advantages of, of working at a, you know, a very privately, uh, you know, very tightly held private company, you know, we're, we're able to be nimble. We're able to be entrepreneurial. We can, you know, we can shift where we think the better opportunities are, you know, or as we see uh, user needs um, change or evolve. Um, and, and similarly to, to investor, you know, demands and, and, and you know, requirements. So I, I think, you know, a lot of good things for us to come. The, the growth has been, you know, phenomenal over the past few years. And, and Mike and I are very excited to be a part of it going forward. Well, we, we certainly all look forward to, to seeing, to watching that growth, seeing this all unfold and to, you know, meeting back here in five years and, and seeing if your, your crystal ball was right. Uh, so thank you both uh, again, Michael Wong and Mike Armstrong. Thank you so much for joining us and sharing your expertise with us here today. And thank you viewers for tuning in. For more insightful content, please visit streamdatacenters.com. And you can, of course, head to the resource library for all of your, inf all of your information needs. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Thanks.